Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Yahweh Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, the word Igni calls God, and His name means He exists. And Yahweh Shah's name is only begotten Son, who the word Igni calls Jesus Christ, and His name means He delivers. By Hashem is in the name, Rikak is the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of great millstone real well. Peace and blessings to the Shir Akim that's pushing forward in the truth throughout the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom to the brothers and keep pushing. And a double shalom to the church that's looking like the other nations and the Shir Akwatim. I want to say shalom to your brothers and sisters as well. My name is Dova Da from GMS Line St. Louis Camp. And I'll come back at another video. And this is article. Um, all praise to Yahweh Shimon Shadi put the spirit of me to do this video. This article that I found says iPhones to detect depression, cognitive decline, and anxiety in users. Problems it could cause in the first place, reports say. So, you as a man of the Lord or a woman of the Lord, this should spark red flags. All right, like how the hell you, you can you um, track depression and cognitive decline? You know, how the hell can a device de detect that? Which we all know this is a prelude to the Karagma, all right? The Mark of the Beast. And and this is what this whole, you know what, is. The the, the potions that they're giving out is, is all a prelude to the Mark of the Beast. All right, so let's read on, and I'm gonna pour a precept in a little bit, and it should be edifying. So this was September 21st. Apple is allegedly working with the UCLA and pharmaceutical firm Biogen to try to detect depression and other mental illnesses in iPhone users. However, the smartphone itself has also been blamed for such conditions, right? And it is. It's um. These apps, because uh, these people nowadays is all they do is have a face glued into their phone. All right, a lot of these women, that's all they do. They just live by their phone. I've dealt with a woman. She said, "I don't even watch TV. She just be on her phone all damn day." You know, frying her damn brain and looking and trying to be like these other whores and plastic built builder bitch bitches. All right. Because these females out here, especially in America, they are uh, artificial. They like um, fake. Yeah, artificial. Synthetic women. These ain't real women. You know? And I ain't talking about the sisters that watch. All right? Uh, may the Lord bless you in your household. I'm just talking about the the uh, modern day woman, all right? It's not, <laughs> modern day woman, not even really a woman. Right? But anyway, um, but yeah, uh, staying in your phone, it um, causes all type of depression, you know, because especially being on these damn video games, it takes you away from the r real world. You know, you're in cyberspace, like they call it. it Says the tech giant is working with the university like it of California Los Angeles to determine if its algorithms can detect stress anxiety and depression among iPhone users the partnership with Biogen is also focused on studying mild cognitive impairment among users according to several unnamed Apple employees who spoke to the Wall Street Journal on Tuesday All right the project codename Seabreeze and Pi respectfully take medical diagnostics considerably further than previous Apple features, though the sensors being used to collect data for them have been part of the uh, ubiquitous. Uh, it's like you for saying that word wrong. U ubiquitous phones for some time now. Uses data including mobility, physical activity, sleep patterns, typing behavior, and other seemingly and acutest interactions with the device are being analyzed in the hope of finding digital strength. 
associated with target conditions and sources said, right? Cause they like these Apple Watch, they can already monitor your um, heart rate and all that, like how long you've been standing and if you're moving and all that. And the only way to do that for real, for real, is 100% way is to get um, injected with the karagma. All right, and they already know these people. Um, are stressed the hell out. And these Americans, they the most stressed out people in the history of mankind. I think about what you do on a day-to-day basis. You uh, go to work, you know, working you around people that you don't like or or don't know. And, um, you know, just to make ends meet and giving your money to somebody else. You got a nagging ass feminist woman all right, uh, fake, fake, fake food. You know, getting hit with 5G, man. The list goes on. So, what does that build? That builds depression. And everybody over here in America is a damn narcissist, self-centered. And that, that's what this place breathes. It, it breathes narcissism, um, self-worship. All right, instead of accepting the type of person that your how much you shot made you. Because they all these phones and stuff, it distracts you. Because these people, y'all don't really even know who y'all are. Y'all don't know who y'all are. Y'all don't even know what y'all interested in. Y'all don't even know what you dislike. Because um, Esau Edom, man, he wants to lump everybody in the same category. As, yeah, we're all one. No, we're not all one. It's different forms of the body. Like, in the truth, um... You got different functions of the body. All right. Uh, Different parts. And they all function a different way. But the main goal is to support the the body, the head. You see, we all different. Everybody over in America to do the same shit. It's all like a. It's uh, I'm into I'm into. um, this and you know I fit in this category and this category and all that. All right. So, um, let's read on the Sea Breeze study began last fall with 150 subjects tracking data from their Apple Watches. I just said that and iPhones, and it's set to expand to 3,000 subjects this year. The project is quite intrusive, examining data from the phones video camera keyboard and audio sensors yeah audio sensors <laughs> they already listening to now as well as information from the watch regarding movement sleep and vital signs analysis of facial expressions tone of voice gap and sleep is also involved as are type and speed and accuracy in the content of messages yeah just a new how, how they gonna track you at, at two because each app that you open up will you allow this app to track you hey always say no which they track you anyway because the phone know your patterns the phone yeah your phone know where you work at it says accompanying the high volume data suck or a series of questionnaires about mood and analysis of the stress hormone cortisol and subjects hair a match between usage signatures and relevant psychological conditions could result in an app warning the use they are at risk of mental illness though fully fledged tilly diagnosis is supposedly not the point right and um, yeah a mental illness a, is is already r- running rapid because the majority of you people got mental illness if you and I in the truth, then you got a mental illness. You got the plague of the mind. What's happened to the scriptures? So this is Ecclesiasticus 25, 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of the woman, right? So the plague of the heart, your life, your mind. Right, demons whispering in your ear, telling you to all type of stuff, which is really your flesh. You know, the demons too. 
Because a demon's job is to get you to, to do what is to be carnal. It's to not walk in the spirit, but to walk in the flesh. Like, yeah, she, yeah, she said she got a uh, man, but hey, forget that. That, that. that nigga live always in such and such, such and such. Um, yeah, you should, um, you know, all type of stuff. You should eat that. That smell good. Ain't, ain't, ain't nobody going to know that you ate that pork. All right? And any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman, right? And it's the wickedness of women is running rapid. Like, a, a woman in this place could steal from a man, could play a man, have his baby, and get and get a check for the rest of her life. Uh, 18 years. Man, that's, that's straight theft. That's thievery. And that's all... Um, Constructed by the so-called white man, Esau Edom. To mess with our nation. To get any niggas that's, um, that's high up on the scale. like So they won't um, expand, you know, just to keep us down. You know, because these Edomites, they look at for all different type of ways to keep our nation oppressed and divided and destroyed. And who they use? They use you Israelite women. Chiefly the so-called black women. So this is um this is Mark Let's see if I can find this Might be thirteen. Let me see if I can find it. Do, 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 do. Looking for when you see called a sick. Let's see if I can find that one. Yeah, two and fifteen. Matthew, not Matthew, Mark two and fifteen. Mark 2 and 15. And it reads, And it came to pass that as Yahweh Shah said and meet in his house, many publicans and sinners sat also together with Yahweh Shah and his disciples. But there were many, and they followed him. And when the scribes and Pharisees saw him eat with publicans and sinners, they said unto his disciples, How is it that he eateth and drinketh with publicans and sinners? When Yahweh shall heard it, he said unto them, They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance, right? So yeah, hey, we sick. And everybody, especially in this world, you know, sick. Everybody's sick, you know? And we still getting over our sickness because we ain't all the way healed yet. The only way that we're going to be healed is when when we get saved. The Lord will not be a part of that number. When we get saved from out of this place. Because hey, this place will make you sick. Um, you know, dealing with these... Man, these women that turn you into a straight savage. With these uh, demonic-ass creatures that wasn't trained how to uh, properly treat men. You know, these niggas out here. And who were they raised by? Women. All right. And a so-called white man uh, seeing, uh, you, you know, your people in the lowest state. And that's by the hand of the so-called white man. You know, you're getting beat down. you catching hair outside and inside of your life, uh, your, your body. Getting afflicted in your mind and getting afflicted on a carnal level. Your woman, your job. Uh, bills, car might break down, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, hey, it's all hell. So, it's just a prelude to the um, karagma 
Because it, and that's the end goal of uh, these devils. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Right. Decree unrighteous decree. You know, you got many Americans that's outraged at Joe Biden's mandate. All right. Because they know that that's, uh, you know, they call him bullshit. They know this bullshit. So they said, nah, we ain't doing that. And I got many marriage fighting them right now. Revelation 13 and 16. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Yeah. That no man might bar sales so if he'd have had the mark. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right? So it's gonna come to a time if you ain't got this karagma, you ain't gonna be able to buy groceries, you ain't gonna be able to take your woman out on a date, you ain't gonna be able to um to buy anything, pay your car note, your mortgage, all that. You ain't gonna be you ain't gonna be able to do none of that shit. It's gonna be null and void. Alright? And that's when your um faith gonna have to kick in. Here is wisdom, let him to have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Exactly. Six six six. That's on the um I saw every barcode. Right? Revelation fourteen and eight. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, the great city. Because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, yeah, you take the karate man in your hand, your forehead, because a lot of these military um, jarheads going to be getting the karate stuck in their damn brain. Verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Right. You know, you're going to be um, burnt alive. You know, you're going to go to that lake of fire. Like I tell you in uh, Zechariah the 14th chapter, your tongue and your eyes going to burn out of your mouth and your sockets. You know, that's... For you people that don't believe in Yahweh Shemar Shah, because that's what it all boils down to. It all boils down to uh, your faith in the Lord. And a lot of you Israelites, you, you out there, you trying to establish your own righteousness. Matter of fact, let's get that. Romans 10 and 1. And it reads, Brethren, my heart's desire... And prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved, right? Because the Lord only came to die for the Israelites. He didn't die for the rest of you other nations. What the hell you need to be saved for? You're already in your kingdom. You know, fighting and whatever. For our brethren record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Right. See, our people got a zeal. I mean, you know, an unction. They incline into spiritual things, but it's not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. Right. They have they, they ain't submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. You see what I'm saying? And they trying to do what they they want to do. Ah, oh, well, I can celebrate Christmas. I just got to just do it in the name of Jesus. You know, and Jesus is a false God. The Lord never said, um, do no shit like that. He never said, put a damn Christmas tree and, you know, which that goes back to Satanism. You know, the custom of these, uh, Hamites, these idols. Um, and the rest of these, um, heathens, like dreadlocks, that's an East Indian custom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you jakes, you jakes out there. Hey, y'all are sick. 
you know, y'all sick of the mind, y'all, y'all get the plague of the mind. And a lot of it is due from a damn woman. Like my uncle, straight crackhead. You know, spoiled because he put his, he gave his strength to a woman. And she done moved on with her life and done messed with all type of niggas after him. You know, you can't let a woman destroy you. You got to move on. If it don't work out, move on. Because, you know, hey, that's her, um, hey, that's what she want. Like, after she leave you, she wants you to, she wants your life to be fucked up so she can have reassurance and feel better about herself that your life fucked up. And that she made the right choice. You know? So you got to keep moving. And uh, keep growing. And the Lord will give you a better woman. You can't get caught up on no shit like that. Because, you know, it happens to the best of us. Revelation 16 and 1. And I heard a great voice out of the temple. Saying to the seven angels. Go your ways and pour out your vials of the wrath of the Most High upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon all men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship the image, right? So they grievous sore. So all you people that's, that's, that's going to take that, you know, because you niggas, you still going to be making excuses on why you can do this and why you can do that. You know, because scripture says uh, um, a sinful man findeth an excuse. All right. You now you try to justify everything. Every little bullshit and folly that, that you do, you try to justify and make it seem like that it's okay. All right? And the Lord gonna kill a dude or a woman like that. It says, um, And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of water, and they became blood. Yeah, and we see that right now. Yeah, see that right now. And I heard the angel of the water say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged us. For they have shed the bloods of the saints and the prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because some of these people are going to kill us. Am I right? Some of these people going to kill us. So you're going to have to um, be ready. The Lord choose you for that. Um, to get gunned down or to get your head chopped off or whatever. You're going to have to just take it. Just eat it. Just tell the Lord, hey, to put the spirit on me. To not even feel it. So just take my spirit out of my body. You know, just let me die instantly. That's, what, uh, that's how the Lord did Stephen. And he looked up, he saw the Heavenly Father, and how was y'all sitting on his right hand? All right. So, yeah, hey, man, he, these people, these people are done, man. These people are finished over here. You people are just sitting ducks. You just waiting to get put to death, waiting to get judged. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, right? Iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. Right? And we see that now. Can't even drive nowhere without these people trying to run you off the road. Damn nigga woman in traffic don't want to let you over. Um, people, honk, people honking at you and all that. Like, get the fuck out of my way. Go, oh my God, go, go, go. Man, can't stand you damn people, man. Hey, Lord, will I be a hunter, man? Shit. I'm a... Man, you just wait and see. But, man, you motherfuckers gotta go. You some... These some evil-ass people. All right? Evil-ass people. Yeah. Ungodly people. Hey, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemiah Shah by Shemakai Gorash. Hope that's edifying. Shalom.